grabbed an image online, but it's in WebP. Have a low quality image. Need an object removed from a photo you took. I have a solution for all of these three problems, so tag along. Hey everybody, nice to see you again. I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicorn Booter. And in this video, I have three tools for you, for photographers and designers especially, and obviously for anyone working with images. Let's get right into the tools. This might be the most versatile tool that even video creators like myself use every time I make a video. Very often images you need for a video end up in formats a video editor software can't handle. WebP is one of them. It's a format they widely use for images uploaded on the internet as it's a format with a small file size. But I hate it. It's one of the many cases where an image converter like the one in the Uniconverter is so useful. Not only can it convert any images to JPEG for example, but you can resize, compress and crop them in batch if needed. Here is how to use it. You'll find it in the tools menu. Import the image files you'd like to convert. Select individual output settings or a collective one. And once you're done, just export them. My favorite thing about the image converter is how convenient, fast and easy to use it is. So add this tool to your list of favorite photo tools. So you took a photo during your vacation, but tourists were in the way. Trust me, I know the feeling. Or if not tourists, an ugly sign is ruining the shot or, or a text or a cat. Many different things can ruin an image, but there is one thing in common in all of them. If they meet this watermark remover tool I'm about to show you, they won't stand a chance. Now for this tool, we'll leave the Uniconverter, we'll let it rest a bit, and we'll navigate to media.io, which is an online multimedia toolbox packed with AI tools. Once we're there, we'll look for the watermark remover tool, also known as any eraser. Now this tool is crazy, let me show you. So you upload an image that you want to work on, right? Then you draw over every part of it that you don't need and then click on remove. Wait for it. And look at they're gone. A decent photo turned into a perfect one. Sometimes when the results are not perfect like this immediately, I import the image again and repeat the process, but in the end, the results are always amazing. A truly, truly awesome tool not only photographers or designers can implement into their set of tools, but everybody will find it useful. So let me show you a few images. They don't have the best quality, right? However, low quality images sometimes hold the dearest memories, or we can't use anything else for a project because those are the only images available for a certain topic. Well, that's what the AI image enhancer has been made for. So first, find the tool within the AI lab in the Uniconverter. Then you just drop a low quality image into the tool, which will start analyzing and processing it immediately. Once it's done, you'll have the same picture with upscaled quality. So guys, which one do you think is the most useful for your needs? Let us know in the comment section. The Uniconverter has many more tools to offer and we're making tutorials for all sorts of tasks, so be sure that you subscribe so you never miss any of the new videos. But that's all I have for you today and I'll catch you in the next one.